Yo, what up, YouTube? What up, boxing fans? Shout out to those No Needle Don't Hair Nut Huckers who uh, were sucking his cock all the way up to this fight. Just couldn't believe that a fighter 11 and 0 would be able to consistently outbox a guy that uh, got outpunched by Jeffrey Mathabula just uh, three fights ago. Well, there you have it. Two-time gold medalist, Cuban amateur uh, specialist, you know, this guy going through the grind as an amateur, finally gets his credit. Guillermo Rigondeau. Guillermo Rigondeau finally does it, man. Congratulations to Guillermo. Makes Daner looks like, uh, made him look like a bum. <laughs> you know what? He, I agree with Harold Letterman. I don't know how the fuck those judges had it so close. Guillermo Rigondeaux clearly outpunched, outpointed, and uh, made made Denner look amateurish. He made him look like he's never been in there with a skilled fighter before, you know. And that's how good Rigondeaux is, you know. That's the effect. Uh, that occurs, and man, you know, I'm watching this shit with my wife, she's like, man, Guillermo Rigondeaux is like a hummingbird in there, you know, he's just punching away, and he's just too fast, you could, it's so hard to see uh, what he's doing in there, you know, and to say Nonito Donaire uh, is easy money, uh, you know, more like easy work for a guy like Rigondeaux, and I'm counting the money I made off of betting on Rigondeaux. I didn't. I didn't make that much because I understand this was a 50-50 fight, and Denaire did get his knockdown. He did get that left hook in, I believe, in the 11th. Uh, but he he literally only won a few rounds. I don't know how the judges had it so close. Two two judges had it. Uh, had two points. One judge had 114, 113. The other one, 115, 112. Are you serious? Meanwhile, we're watching on HBO and we see a one sided Rigondeaux domination type fight. Um, you know, tremendous fight. Tremendous performance. You know, we, we haven't seen Denaire, uh get beat this easily before. And, it, and he even admitted post fight that, you know what, hey, I didn't study this guy. <laughs> He did not study the two-time Olympic gold medalist. Well, um, big mistake. You know, he just took lightly, um, you know, his toughest competitor to date. And now he is not a star anymore, you know. Now maybe flocks of fans won't come to see his fight. Maybe those will get... Uh, you know, maybe those are not Abner Mara's fans. Maybe those are now Guillermo Rigondeaux's fans, who uh, is left basically to dominate that division, or he might even move up as well. Um, unfortunately, he won't be able to get his hands on Abner Mara's, and it's a damn shame. But Guillermo Rigondeaux steps up 12 and 0, already beats the best guy in his division. And this is somebody that was ranked, quote-unquote, pound for pound. And uh, he beat him very easily. So, you know, give Guillermo Rigondeau his credit. 12-0, maybe you could rank him in the pound for pound. I, I, I don't see it. But he's definitely one of the standouts, one of the uh, champions that is, is going to be really uh, just really... Uh, maybe publicized to be one of the next best fighters out there. One of the guys that might carry the throne if Adrian Bronner can't. You know, Guillermo Rigondeaux is going to be carrying that pound for pound uh, south of the welterweight division and give him all the credit in the world. Uh, he's one of the best out there. Congratulations, Guillermo Rigondeaux, for outboxing, outpunching, outmaneuvering, outspeeding. No need of Donaire. Congratulations. It is what it is, guys.
Then you have to now lose his unanimous decision to Guillermo Rigondeaux. Peace out, take care.